Hey guys, what's up? I hope your weekend's going well. Welcome back to Show and Tell. I am Chris Wacker, and this is some of my collection that I show off on the weekends and I talk about a little bit. And uh, this w weekend we are doing The Wizard Bobbity and His Minions. And I'm going to jump right into it because these guys are actually not part of the Minions, but I felt like they went good with the group. Like Kabito over here, he is the Supreme Kai's uh, assistant of of some sort, and uh, they're the first ones that you see during the Majin Buu saga uh, when they explain to everybody that uh, Bobbity and uh, Majin Buu are are uh, you know Majin Buu is about to be re resurrected and Bobbity is going to be the one doing it. So this guy right here and this guy right here are uh, the ones that tell everybody about them, and I tried to set them up in a way that uh, that they appear in the show. So, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about him real quick. I like he's, uh, he's, he's got the shiny paint on his, uh, on his, uh, his tunic, or top? I don't know, I don't know what you, is that a tunic? Um, I really like the look on his face, he really, I mean, pretty much looks just like that in the show. And, uh, he's got a very angry, angry red grandpa look. Um, not a whole lot to say about this one. He's just sort of, he's pretty solid. He's pretty well made. There's, uh, you know, little bits of articulation. He's got a little point on his finger there. Anyway, I'll just move on. There's not a whole lot to say about that guy. I got, a uh, little Kaioshin, the Supreme Kai, above King Kai and the other god Kais, is this little guy. He shows up and everybody's like, ooh, who's this little guy? He must be some kind of badass. Uh, it turns out he's not all that badass. He's got a couple good scenes where he fights and does some cool things. A little tiny, tiny little figure guy. He's got tiny little skinny arms. And he looks like he's all angry, like he's a little kid throwing a tantrum. Like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to go. Yeah. I don't want to eat my vegetables. <laughs> my jaboo is coming, you guys. But I really like, uh, I, I always kind of liked his design. With the neat, the neat sideways mohawk thing going on. Uh, about, very similar outfit to the other guy. A tunic of some, some kind, I guess. I don't know if that's considered a tunic. But, uh, yeah, he's kind of a neat one. I'll go ahead and move on to the actual minions. Such as Pui Pui. His name is Pui Pui. I think it's spelled Pui Pui. And he's got spikes on his back and a big old xenomorph type head. He's got the Bobbity's insignia, which is obviously an M. Which, well, I mean, I say obviously an M because, you know, Majin Boo and Majin Vegeta and everybody's a Majin. Which, uh, I, I believe is either a reference to a demon or a genie or both, like a demon genie. Which is sort of how Majin Boo was designed and everything. Anyways, Pui Pui, he, uh, Vegeta... Uh, it takes care of him pretty quickly when they start fighting. I believe he's the first one of the minions that you see. I don't even think you see Bobbity first. Kind of like his back. It's interesting. Kind of looks like uh, his back top looks a little bit like Frieza's front. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. I like the look on his face. He he pretty much looks exactly like that in the show. That's a pretty that's a pretty fun one. Well, I mean, not super fun, but I, I think it's, he's got a cool design to him shape of his head and all that junk. And I'll see if I can get him to stand for a moment so I can move on here. Alright, move on to... Uh, ac uh, actually, I'll go ahead and talk about Bobbity since he appears next, I believe. He's such a cool little guy! Look, he's got all the... look at all the little wrinkles! Look at his weird little face, his expression and the way that his hands are. It looks really cool and it looks like, I mean, that's a very good personification of of how he is in the show very good representation of how he actually looks and you get the feel of the character he's very meh, very meh. And he's got the m on his little belt buckly thingy and he's got little catfish whiskers <laughs> i really like his i like his character i think he's kind of fun and it's kind of annoying this little thing is pretty stupid this came with him and this is supposed to be majin buu's egg, the thing that Majin Buu comes out of. Does this look like Majin Buu's egg to you guys? It it looks like Cell, like Cell's little seed capsule thing that he comes out of, because it's all spiky and stuff, and it's tiny, and they just painted it pink. So I think somebody got confused and thought the thing that Cell arrived in was uh, Majin Buu's egg or something, because his uh, Majin Buu's egg is huge, and it's got like veins, and it looks like a brain and stuff, so that's kind of dumb. Move on to this guy right here. This is Yakon, 
Y-A-K-O-N, as it's spelled, at least in the English version. I really like... I really like this figure. It's very well done. These uh, spike things on his hands actually extend. I'm not going to mess with them right now. I got them all the way extended as much as they can. Uh, he's got this goofy little tail thing, all wrinkly. There's so much good detail and design on this figure. Like all the way down to his feet, his tail, the wrinkles in his tail, these weird things on his back, his spikes. He's got all the little spots and things. He looks like a big dangerous spiky frog of some kind. And he's got the M right in the middle there. I don't know if that's supposed to be his rib cage, like a giant rib cage or something. I don't know, but I really, really like this figure. I think it's pretty cool. He's got an interesting look on his face, and he pretty much, you know, that f figure pretty much embodies the character of the, you know, that's exactly what the character looks and kind of feels like. And this guy, last but not least, is my uh, favorite out of all these guys, I, other than Yakon. I really like that figure. But this one's just so crisp and clean. Look at the look on his face. He looks pretty evil, pretty, like, angry. He's got the horns, he's got the M, he's got the little beard. There's so many great little detailed lines in his chest and in the, in the clothing and everything. He comes with his little demon sword. Uh, that's what he came with. I always thought he was supposed to be like a like a devil or a Dracula, like a, a, Dra a Dracula devil, basically. And he's sort of Bobbity's big main dude until uh, Vegeta shows up, and I think some of us know what happens then. And uh, I thought the blue was an odd choice for his character, but uh, but it still works. I don't know. They pull it off, and I think it's a really it's a really cool figure, and he's a pretty cool character. And that is it for Bobbity and his minions this time. And I uh, will show you what we'll be talking about in just a moment. Next time, right on out now. Majin Buu! <laughs> Next time, guys.